Welcome to the last in citizen science for cultural heritage. I'm Andreas Pasiano from Water Resource Research Documentation Center. This lesson is just an overview on the application of citizen science in cultural heritage field according to European Commission guidelines and funded research projects. We focus our attention on innovation and challenges derived from citizen science, participatory governance and motivation, and finally, accessibility and digital infrastructure insight from European Union projects. Citizen science is an innovative and underestimated topic in the field of cultural heritage management. This is why most relevant insight derived from empirical case studies in the context of European Union projects. Citizen science in cultural heritage has similarities with consuetudinary application in environmental fields in terms of data management, policy development, citizen engagement tools, and methods. The most challenges in application of citizen science in cultural heritage management is the qualitative perspective of, of social sciences and humanities. The main issues regard the data collection, structure, and quality. Many studies and European Union reports post their focus on three main aspects that can help to integrate citizen science in cultural heritage management. The participatory governance, the accessibility to cultural heritage, and digital infrastructure to support and an inclusive accessibility to cultural heritage resources. Now, let's see citizen science application relating to participatory governance. Citizen science offers several advantages for cultural heritage monitoring and management in terms of democratization and social cohesion that offers opportunities to foster democratic participation, sustainability, and social cohesion around the management and recognition of cultural heritage and local values. Another advantage is the public engagement that seeks to achieve the involvement of relevant stakeholders in the, in the framework of public action. Citizen science improves awareness that contribute to increasing awareness about the value of cultural heritage as shared and not replicable resources. Citizen science also aims to strengthen social values around cultural heritage supporting contemporary cultural, artistic, and creative works, which are tightly related to local identity and values. And finally, citizen science offers new opportunities brought by globalization, digital, digital, digitalization, and new technology. What motivates people to be engaged in participatory governance and management for cultural aid? The Cultural Heritage Center motivations for creating interest and focus on cultural heritage over a long period of time is the main reason to push people to be involved in a participatory governance for cultural, cultural heritage. Citizens in this way can contribute to better conserve cultural heritage and its core values, help develop new methods and processes for a shared management of cultural heritage, improving ex exchange of knowledge and new skills, and advocate best practice to monitor cultural heritage and manage cultural heritage with citizens' support. European Commission efforts in recent times is aimed to enlarge participation and awareness in cultural heritage fields through digital digitalization of cultural materials and services to increase online accessibility, boosting citizen engagement through the growth of cultural creative industries that can, can promote the local culture and local identities and collaboration between public and private sector because of the high cost of cultural heritage maintenance and dissemination. To conclude, we have a quick overview on main insight from European Union project. What are the main goal of citizen science for 
the application of citizen science for cultural heritage and for what citizen science is applied. Citizen science in Europe is applied, first of all, for cultural heritage monitoring and preservation. The project are aimed to involve citizens in the monitoring and preservation of cultural heritage in terms to reporting damage, monitoring condition of historical buildings, monitoring works on artifacts, and co-design risk management tools and methodologies. Main projects in this sense are Arch, uh, Storm, Shelter, and Charisma, under the umbrella of Horizon 2020 Founded Project. Another goal of the application of citizen science is the cultural heritage mapping. These goals are related to the creation of digital maps of cultural heritage, both physical and intangible cultural heritage, using citizen collaboration to collect data and information on localization of cultural heritage, places, heritage at risk, tradition, languages, and custom. In this way, we um, highlight Europeana 1914-1918 and Cultural Heritage in action, in action as two key projects aimed at cultural heritage mapping. Other citizen science projects for cultural heritage are focused on local communities' engagement. Citizen participation has been, essential, has been essential to involve the local communities in the decision-making process regarding cultural heritage in order to protect sensitive to collective needs, project sensitive to collective needs, to improve public awareness and to promote participatory governance on cultural heritage. Another goal is education and outreach. In this way, most projects are aimed to educate and raise awareness about the importance of cultural heritage and its role in our common identity and history in order to create immersive and engaging experience and to develop interactive educational platform for school and young students. Then other projects are focused on di digitalization and open access resources that focus on digitizing cultural heritage, making collection, archives, works of art and historical documents available online. These allow a wider public to access and interact with cultural heritage. Then other citizen science projects are aimed to create um, suitable tools and technologies for cultural heritage, technological tools and digital platform to improve citizens' engagement in heritage-related citizen science. For example, it's common to use artificial intelligence for analyzing sites and artifacts from citizen observation to create interactive apps to improve user experience during cultural activities. And finally, citizen science projects for cultural heritage are aimed to promote and develop sustainable tourism. Promotion of sustainable tourism through the engagement of citizens in discovering and sharing local cultural resources with a positive impact on the community and local economy. The main goal is to build a network of sustainable, sustainable tourist routes that highlight the lesser known cultural heritage, encouraging responsible tourism and the enhancement of local cultural resources. Thanks for your attention. For more information about our activities, please visit our website and social media channels.